I think there are different ways to train people and the different areas to train people in. Um, we have a specific process in which we engage all the church planters. And we look at um, four areas. One is master. The fact that Jesus is the one who is the builder of his church. He, he owns the church. He, the church is his. It's not ours. So the church starts and ends with Jesus. And, uh, you know, he's the one who calls people. He's the one who gives vision. And um, this is one area we train people in. We also talk about mission. You cannot start a church without the desire and the, the fruit of winning new people for Christ. If you just want to gather believers, you should just start a small group and, you know, or, you know, other, other types of ministry, not a church. A church is, by its very nature, gathering believers together to have an impact and to reach new people for Christ. Uh, so that those people would grow in their relationship with Christ, so that they would reach more people for Christ. So, so that we look at mission. Mission is crucial. And, and as we also look at um, discipleship, the people who come, how do they grow? What are the pathways for discipleship in the new church? Uh, how do disciples, how do they grow? How do they make more disciples? And, um, and the fourth thing we look at, health the health of a leader how do you how do you reproduce how do you reproduce yourself how do you multiply leaders how do you multiply communities how do you multiply churches uh, th so that a movement by god's grace would take place so we look at these four key areas uh, along with a process because i think we we're no um, we're not short of information and the training is so important the process is so important that people are able to discuss, figure out from what they've heard, what are they going to focus on for the next six months. And then they're going to make a plan. And then they're going to present that plan to, to, to the other church planters. And then they're going to be held accountable to that plan by a coach. And then as they come back six months later, they present what they have done. They get feedback. They get encouragement. They are prayed for. So in the, in the training, both the content is important as well as the process. And we seek to have both in the uh, training seminars and training, church planning trainings that we do.